hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm excited to bring you this amazing video and yes i'm here to show you how i got a nice trade on euro card of one two four five rr right so you can call that one two four five or you can call that one two four point five rr right here so i'm going to do a quick breakdown on how i got this trade how i got this entry i'm going to start all the way from the top down analysis and hopefully after the end of this video you can go to your charts and back test it find out the couple of things i'm going to mention in this video and hopefully in the next coming trades you can take them independently and yes before the end of this video i'm going to post the i'm going to show you the proof of my entry and um, yes i did post the also the proof on my instagram i'm very well active on my instagram and i want to say thank you for the 1k subscribers i am very very glad i'm very very happy for that so i want to say thank you for the 1k subscribers so in that case i'm going to be cutting the mentorship program to 50 percent i'm going to cut in the mentorship program to 50 percent and if you're interested in the forex in, to learn smc from me i have my student waiting and i'll be taking their class very soon i'll be taking them on the smc class very soon so i hopefully if you want to join them i'm going to be cutting the mentorship program 50 percent and this includes signal also and is a one-time payment right so i'm going to cut in 50 percent so you do where well to take opportunity take maximize this opportunity sorry to say you can do it to maximize this opportunity and it's not going to be this down for a very long time so before we see much of your time let's dive straight into this video so now like i did on my gold um i showed you the procedure on how i took that trade and the same way also applies here and that's the how i took this trade it's a very sniper entry so um first things to do first i started on the weekly time frame like i said you have to start from the higher time frame to get the overall buyers so whenever you're when you're scaling down to lower time frame, you will not be caught up in the web on the market manipulations, and you will not be confused either to buy or sell, even though you are seeing the both the sell and the buy valid order block, right? So you will know the ones that are right inducements to induce traders and stop them out. You will know the liquidity because I'm going to give you the little secret. Liquidity is what really moves the market. The market the market is attracted to liquidity like a magnet right so um let's just dive straight into this video so i started from the weekly so i'll head straight to the weekly time frame right so i head to the weekly time weekly time frame i'm kind of being careful so i'll take care of my words right here so um i head straight to the weekly time frame on euro card this is a quick breakdown on euro card so i first of all i have to notice if the market is trending because that is very vital you have to have three types of market we have the trending market so we have the consolidation market okay we have the bullish trend we have the very trend. i'll have the concern on the ranging market right here so you have to know if the market is trending and if it's trending you have to know if it's a downtrend or an uptrend so obviously right here you can notice that the market is trending downward right here so um in trending downward i noticed that okay since the market is trending downward meaning the market will be doing series of high, lower lows and lower highs right so i found the last high right here this is the last high and this is the last low i noticed that the market broke the previous structure so what will i do i'll have to find the other block that caused this break of structure right or contributed greatly into the break of structure it's just kind of like a and cause and effect right this is the cause and this is the effect of it so i found the all i have to look for the other block that um did had this effect on the market so once i stream zoom in a bit i notice this other block right here this other block right here so now why did why is this other block valid now this other block is valid because it completes the three criteria i mentioned in my previous video when i caught gold one to six where right? you can do it to go check that out so i called gold one to six so this other block is also valid number one is that there is increase in volume and that increase in volume led to the break of the previous structure and that volume that other block is unmitigated so this other block is valid you can see there's increase in volume and this increase in volume contributed to the break of the previous structure and this zone is unmitigated right so i'm just going to go ahead and mark that out so now um some people will be confused okay what which other block am i going to use so i'm going to use this aggressive candle right here this massive sell to buy candle right here right so that's what i'm going to use so i'll just pick that and extend it all the way to the future yeah i'll extend that to the future 
so that is it so you can see the market is in that zone and you see the market is reacting massively from that place the market came into that zone and sold off of about 700 pips right as so, of sold off about 700 pips and um, the market is also in that zone and the market is about to sell off again massively so now um, that is all we need for weekly we are not going to do anything we are not start going to looking for market structure and liquidity and all of that but this is very also important why i'm interested in this zone if you look closely the market cleaned up some liquidity around here you can see the liquidity around here so before the end of this video i'm going to give i'm going to be giving you the list of liquidity i always look out for right so you can see the first touch the second touch the third fourth fifth six. there's a lot of liquidity above here the market induced traders set to sell and took out the liquidity right here so tap into our zone and it's about to sell off so that is all we need about the weekly time frame so i'll just go ahead to delete all this stuff just to keep the charts clean just to keep it super simple right so i'll uh, head straight to the four hour time frame so remember our we are looking for sellers we are looking for sell order block right here so in the four hour time frame i notice it's a good set a very nice order block right here that the market is also expecting so i'll just extend it to the future and yeah you can see it's right there um i just want to get that last candle you can see that last candle yeah that's the candle i'm interested in now you can see the market tapped into our zone and sold off massively before about a lot of pips right here so you can see it around here this is about 140 something pips right here so that is also valid apart from that notice how the market is reacting this is a strong bullish little bearish strong bullish little bearish now you can see the market is now you know the the momentum of these buyers are now re reducing massively and you can see the sellers to control the market and change structure now talking about change of structure i, mean, I know most of you will be are still confused and finding it difficult to understand market structure so i'm going to give you a, a little secret right here that has been helping me to understand market structure because i noticed some people don't really understand when the market actually changed structure and they'll confuse and you know the noise that is happening in between structures right here so now let me give you a little secret before i continue this video before i forget so now take for instance the market is in an option just like this right so for you to understand market structure is this now pick out the high pick out the next high now the lowest point in between those two highs is your trading range is what we call trading range so this high and this high the lowest part between it is your trading range now if this market gets to this point and breaks do this what we now call a break of market structure right is a break of market structure to the upside that's a continuation of trend now if this market keep retracing and doing series of higher highs and higher lows that's what we call internal range that's how what we call internal trend right so the market is still considered uptrend as long as it is above your trading range until the market breaks below your trading range that's when you consider it a change of mode market structure so consider this high and this high now i'm not going to consider this because this is what double top so consider these highs and this high this is our trading range until the market will break below here with market is still an option so notice that if i shift my screen you notice that the market now did what tap into this place and broke our previous low our trading range so this from this point now is now what we call change of character so very quickly let me do another example so let's just take for instance a quick one right here for a selling opportunity so take the difference between this low and this low the highest point is our trading range this low and this low the highest point is our trading range now i'm not going to consider this why because this is what we call a weak low it's unable to produce a high that a low to break the previous low so this is what we call a weak low and if this happens most times in the market the market always takes it out right so this is a weak low so now what uh, what are we waiting for now the market took out the low so this is we are not going to call here our change of character don't make that mistake because this is our trading range what's now the market breaks above our trading range this is now where we call change of character right the same thing applies to this buy here so i'm not going to call this a change of character because this low is what we call a weak low it was unable to generate momentum to break the previous high so i'm going to look at this high and this high then the lowest point is my trading range which is here so from here all the way to this point is what we now call our change of character 
so let's that continue what we are saying so now you will notice how the market tapped into our point of interest our other block and fins down massively so before that the market was creating tons of liquidity below there and see the market is creating tons of liquidity so now most of you that are confused that really don't know what liquidity is all about so i'm just going to give you three major types of liquidity you have to be looking at for why trading the smc now we have number one every swing high and swing low now in every swing high and swing low lies liquidity above and below now the second is double tops and double bottom in every double top and double bottom lies liquidity above and below and also what trend line liquidity below every trend line and above every trend line now below every trend line in a bullish scenario like this as we have in our screen lies liquidity and above every trend line in the downward like in the bearish market lies liquidity why what is the what is this concept behind this is it just talking about liquidity no the concept behind this is that there are a lot of traders buying this market and their stop loss are below here a lot of markets a lot of traders are buying this market in the lower time frame their stop loss are here so this is what the market do like i said earlier on the market is attracted to liquidity like a magnet so the market will come down to take out those liquidity right there so you can see the market came down and stop out a lot of traders right here so this is what we want to look out first before you know concluding on a valid order block because if it, the fact is that if you don't identify the liquidity you might end up being the liquidity so now let's just go ahead you can see the market took out the liquidity so i'll just go ahead to delete this to keep things super simple so um after that now i want you to understand that before every rally to the upside or to the downside the market always leave a signature there so if it's rallying to the upside the market is really is leaving a signature of a demand zone if it's rallying to the downside in a bearish move is leaving a signature of a bullish of a bearish order block so now in this rally from the downside all the way to the downs up from the sorry from the top to the down the market left an order block here you might not see it but we have to find it so what are we going to do we are going to go down to the lower time frame and refine this other block right here so this other block is somewhere around here so to refine that other block i have to so before refine the other block this is one thing i always do before you find the other block there have to be some manipulation before my other block if there is no manipulation then that's my other block is what is, is the manipulation right there have to be a manipulation before my other block if there is no manipulation or inducements to induce trader then my other block is the manipulation irrespective if it if the other block is valid increase the volume market um, increase the volume mitigated zone and uh, the volume is strong enough to break the previous future but if i don't see liquidity before my zone or an inducement then that other block i have to be careful about it so i waited for to see a liquidity before my other block then i noticed that if i should go to the one hour to make things really clear so i noticed that the market is creating tons of liquidity i should do this the market is creating tons of liquidity like i said double series of double top right there inducing traders to always go short at the touch of this trend line so their stop loss is above there now notice what the market did the market came rally with aggressive mode and stopped them out now in stopping them out there are a lot of other traders that are looking to trade the breakout so they are buying aggressively and their stop loss is down the market came down stopped them out go up to now tag us in in a profit and we all rally the market down so don't worry i'm going to show you proof of the entry in the, before the end of this video so um let's just with seeing these tons of liquidity i'm now confident that our other block has now high probability to hold then i have to refine that other block right there so what will i do i will scale, i will find my other block on the 15 minutes time frame so if you don't know how to find other block if you are really confused about what i've been saying or you want an in-depth you know learning process and smc trading then you can do it to reach out to me reach out to me on instagram if you like what you are watching so far please do it to like and subscribe turn on your bell notification comment if there is anything you want me to talk about in my next video and i will see to it make sure i add it to my next video right so um yeah let's just continue so in the 15 minutes time for my farm my other block now you can see the other block right there the last buy to sell now this is valid also like i said on the weekly time frame this other block is valid because there's increase in volume that contributed to the break of the previous structure this is unmitigated and um, this other block is really valid right 
so i'll just go ahead to pick out my tool and i'll just place it at that zone right there so when i pick it out i place it at that zone so i'll just shrink my screen just to get it all the way to the end let's confirm if we are getting the point we will yeah that is valid so um let's just go back to our four hour time frame so let's just get it straight something like this exactly this was how the market was sorry the market came down a bit but that was how the we should go back to 15 minutes you find out that that was the tip of it so okay so let's just get this to the top side a little bit so yeah let's go to the four hour time frame yeah so this was how i got the trade a sniper entry i always put one pip below my entry and one pip above my my stop loss level and that was how the market just tackles in in just a sniper shot and we took the trade all the way down here at the one to four rr so i'm going to show you the risk i'm going to show you the the proof of the entry now after this so guys like i promised i'm going to show you the proof of my entry and my exit before the end of the video so this is the proof of the entry you can see the you can see the how i explained it the in detail in the screen recorder right you can see the manipulation the trend line liquidity the inducement and all of that and our entry right there so you can see the entry so i'm just going ahead to zoom you can see where the market tag goes in and smash take profit right there so i'm going to show you that on the next slide on my nt4 this is it and i where i got in on the trade you can see it right there this is the proof of it this is the proof of it you can see i've already broke even on the trade and yeah the market ran and i and smash our take profit right there so thank you for watching and if you find this video anywhere helpful do it to like and subscribe turn on your bell notification because this will do a long this will make the channel go a long way and yeah if you're interested like i said as i mentioned earlier on um, because this is going to be a 50 percent of course of the 1000 subscribers as a sign of appreciation so it's not going to be up down this much so do it to utilize it hit me up on instagram and we'll know how to go about it so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye